Hello guys, so where are we today? Well, we're heading one, to the one of the biggest Polish modern cemetery. Let's take a look, but also on a quest for a late film star, a movie star. She's buried in here and we'll try to find her grave and tell her sad story. So stay tuned. Oh. That means chapel, and that's a toilet. One, two, three, four. <coughs> so this is a quarter of some famed people from Poland, from the early 80s and late night, early 90s. So let's take a look. What we have in here? Who are these guys? Maybe we'll find someone interesting. This part of center is very green. Lots of trees, lots of bushes, lo lots of sh shreds, shreds, shrubs, shrubs, oh, shrubs. Ooh, Lysinski, what's happening with the with the paint, the golden paint? I just say, all these grays are really huge. Monumental. Well, have a good life. You will have a splendid grave. Who is this guy? He's probably a priest or a monk or a cheerful guy. <laughs> Zbigniew Szamborski. Looks like a, a singer or something or a waiter. Sorry, I don't know who are you. Maria Wilhelmson. Wilhelmson. Hmm. Nordic surname, Piontas, Polish surname, Regina Jarosz. Jarosz means vegetarian. <laughs> Ooh, Czołek Poniatowski, the family of Czołek Poniatowski. I think uh, that's a family of Polish king or something. The last Polish king was called Poniatowski and, was, uh, and got coat of arms Czołek, so maybe that's a family of Polish king and some priest. Józef Kurowski, a doctor, a professor of medicine. Jarosław Iwaszkiewicz. Jarosław Iwaszkiewicz was also a very famous Polish writer. That's nice. I think that's a very smart way. Nothing. And that's a grave digger facility, but also a chapel. It looks quite nice from the other side. It was built in the early 1980s. You see the pillars? It was shaped in the form of Greek or Roman temples, Parteon. And a toilet, mobile toilet, mobile loo. That's our Parteon, our chapel from the 1980s. Yes. The pillars are just amazing. <laughs> it has a bit so socialistic, communist feel. I feel that in this cemetery. The design is very hmm, old school in the commie way. Well, it was built in that time. Definitely that part. And the quarter of Polish soldiers in the back of the chapel. God honor and the country. Book honor. Book honor Iojczyzna. God honor. God honor and the country. Well. Hmm. And typical, typical graves. What does it mean, the sign, if you ask? It means Poland fight. It was designed during, during the Second World War in uh, Polish occupied Warsaw. Oh, Polish occupied Warsaw. German occupied Warsaw. Polish occupied Warsaw. No. <laughs> Tadeusz Motyliński. Uh, and he even fight in the Warsaw uprising. We'll talk about Warsaw uprising soon. Cool. Really cool. 
and some quiet litter area. You see this? It was made by boss, white boss. <laughs> really, all of it. We got a huge problem, really invasion on wild pigs in Poland, especially in that region. Well, I think we get off the track in our quest to search, you know, our quest for a late film star, movie star, as I mentioned in the beginning. Have to come go back, turn back and start from the scratches. Another fancy ones. It smells really nice in here, like in the in the real forest. Don't be afraid to go to the cemeteries. Just visit them. It's really cool. That caught my eye. Whoa, Mral. What a ceremony. What a fantastic ceremony. Mral. No idea what does it mean and what's the origin of it. Lucina, Lucy. Vinikaitis. Vinikaitis. Vinikaitis is super, super, super Lithuanian surname. And that's also interesting. Guzman, like a um, Southern American or Spanish. There is a very famous. Mexican terrorist and drug dealer called Guzman, Guzman Joachim, Joachim Guzman. He was famous because he escaped two times from American prisons, two times, <laughs> and very, in a very spectacular way. Horoschucha, <laughs> super same name, Horoschucha. It makes me laugh, I don't know why, but... <laughs> the best surname in that cemetery, for sure, I guarantee you that. Lost. Victor Ro Lost. Adam Demianuk. Looks like he's Paul, but uh, the surname, it was a good story about uh, John Demianuk, an uh, American Ukrainian who was uh, working in the concentration camp or death camps during the wartime, and he was accused from killing uh, thousands of Jews, something. John Demianuk, but not this guy. But, you know, the surname. We're just talking about the surname. Okay, guys, we are definitely lost. Uh, we're sure. It's like a labyrinth. In case of robbery, do not leave your luggage unattended on a grave. At Maisky, we find the guy with the same surname in the other cemeteries. Cemeteries we visited before. Believe me, this is like a nightmare. <laughs> a real maze. Jesus, but you know, find her, that's it, Teresa Ijawska, yes, that's the movie star we were looking for, so who is Teresa Ijawska, who was Teresa Ijawska, well, a famous movie star from the 50s and 60s, she played in the very famed Polish movie called Canal or uh, Channel, but it means more like, namely, it was uh, uh, supposed to mean sewers or sewage system. Sewage system in Warsaw, underground sewage system in Warsaw, which is huge. The movie was about the Warsaw Uprising in 1944. And she played the main protagonist, main female role in that movie. She was very beautiful. But lately, sadly forgotten, and she finished her life probably hmm, in disdain a bit. Some say that Teresa was a, a drunkard and some say she committed suicide in 1984, 82. She was about 60 in the time of her death. So remember her. She was nominated for an international European award called BAFTA for that role in Canal Sewage movie. But what about Warsaw Uprising, as I mentioned? 200,000 people died, 200,000, most of them civilians. And the fate of, the, of that struggle against, against Nazi Germans was sealed even before it started, and everyone knew that. But they pushed forward to the uprising, even though they pushed stupidly, merciless, you know, just to I don't know how to, manage, 
have to put that. I think the the guys who were fighting were the real heroes fighting on the ground, and the the ones who organized it should be shot shot on the spot, or maybe even try out and hang like a common fox. Really, two thousand two two hundred thousand people died for nothing, and the city was completely destroyed. That's the story of Warsaw Uprising, 1944. But as I said, civilians took the biggest toll. And the fighters on the ground were real heroes. But nevertheless, the politicians and high officer was a piece of shit. Looks comfortable. Another funny surname. Anna Poop or Pop in English. Hmm. And Stefan Poop or Pop. Hmm. Okay, never laugh of, on other surname. <laughs> that's unkind and stupid. But you know, that's beyond us, all of us. Sometimes. Right now we are heading to the other part of the cemetery called E Mouse. Lot of, lots of steps. That's very common in this city. Whoa! Pelagia Samson. You know the guy Samson from a Bible? Yes, the guy with the long hair, betrayed by his wife. Tafel. Tafel is a German surname. And Tafel means, in, in translation, blackboard. You know, like in school, blackboard. You know, it looks like a blackboard, you know. Black and white letters. And one of my favorite surnames of that cemetery is definitely Curini, Curini, Andrzej and Jerzy, George and An Andrew, Curini. No idea where does it come from, probably Italy. So I hope you're enjoying the trip as much as I do. <laughs> I hope so. Come to visit Gdańsk or go to visit a local cemetery you surely have some and read the names try to get the spot catch the feeling that one caught my eye but not the surname Teresa Bublevich but the design Jesus Christ nice sculpture and Holy Mother and Holy Mother with Jesus Christ. Yeah. And another one, definitely worth mentioned, Bruno Dübeck and Leo Lipkowski, their Kaufmann, which means the sailor. And what the other guy was doing also was a sailor, but someone think different. Of course, it's written in, written in German, even though the guy Leo died 12 years after the war ended, 1957. The German minority in Gdansk was able to put him here, put Leo here and uh, save the grave. Whoa, never been here. Oh, the child section. The Kid quarter. Oh yes. Only children are buried. Uh, small graves for a small bodies. Ooh, uh. That one looks cool. If you can say that. Another most probably German, Stadtschneider, Stadtschneider, no, no, Schatzschneider, Erwin Schatzschneider. Young Erwin lived on a year, and Wojtuś, Wojtuś is a Polish form of the name Adalbert, but they probably choose to put a Polish version of it, Adalbert. 
but this is uh, uh, wife and husband Anastasia Richard and Paul Richard also Paul died after the war he was very old touching so everything ends with a dump that's the allegory of our life a dump and the awful color market <laughs>